Ubuntu Mate 20.04 is an impressive Linux distro considering it as one of the most popular official Ubuntu flavors. Hello everyone, this is Ankush from It's Foss and here we are going to take a look at Ubuntu Mate 20.04. With 20.04, Ubuntu Mate has introduced a bunch of improvements that also includes a variety of bug fixes. Let's dive in to know what's new in Ubuntu Mate 20.04. Starting with the welcome screen. The welcome screen is more useful than ever. You can easily change the desktop layout. No matter what layout you like, you can always change back to the default in a click. You can see it in action here. And not just limited to a couple of layouts, but it includes a lot of layouts that you can choose from. Also, it's a one-click step to change the theme color without any special tweaks. It'll just download the files when you click on install and then you can apply the color. So it makes it very easy to customize the look and feel of Ubuntu Mate 20.04. Not just that, you can simply scroll down from the color selection menu and find the option to easily switch from light to dark mode and vice versa. Now, if you don't want Firefox, you can also install another browser right from the welcome screen and set it as default. Here I tried installing Chromium, it'll take a while to download it and then you can set it as the default one. With the software boutique, you can easily install or remove software and it gives you plenty of details before installing the software. You can tweak the repositories and you can also choose to install a software center from the software boutique if you don't find it useful enough. To be honest, I like it better than my pop shop on pop OS. So that's a plus. You will also find a neat little feature of minimized app previews. In other words, when you have an application minimized, you can easily take a peek at what it is before maximizing the window again. It doesn't always work, but it's an interesting addition. And of course, you will find plenty of pre-installed apps for almost everything you would need. Some packages have been updated or replaced. For example, Evolution has replaced Thunderbird as the default email client now, because the Ubuntu Mate team find it as a better alternative to Thunderbird. I'm not sure about the choice here, so you be the judge. If we take a look around, you can find Firefox pre-installed. Here, I have the latest Firefox version installed. Depending on when you're watching this video, you need to update it if you haven't already. Firefox is my go-to web browser, so that's obviously a big deal for me. In addition to that, you will find several other packages up to date. Also, you will find a handy firmware updated tool in the system tools if you want to upgrade, downgrade or reinstall firmware. That should definitely come in handy. Not just limited to that, you will also find the useful tool Magnus, which is a screen magnifier. It is an essential application for visually impaired computer users as well as accurate graphical design or detail work. You can tweak the magnification and use the screen magnifier as you want. Not to forget, with Mate 1.24 desktop on board, a lot of things have improved. That also includes a brand new time and date manager app from within the system settings. You get a couple of useful options here. I recommend you to explore more about it. Of course, the good things don't end here. As usual, you can tweak the look and feel of your desktop by controlling the icons, background and so on. You can do all of that using the Mate Tweak app. You can change the desktop icons, control the behavior of the panels and windows, and utilize the options available. Not only that, you can also tweak the startup applications depending on what you want and what you don't want. You also get the ability to change the default application for what you want as a web browser, mail client, and so on. Overall, you will find a lot of useful options to explore from the system settings. Also, the presence of celluloid video player is a plus. Personally, I'd prefer this over other video players. 
I'm not sure about you, but this is my favorite. Other things to look out for include the ability to change the folder colors. It's one way of tweaking the user experience, but it's also something that comes in very handy, especially if you want to keep things funky. You will also notice a new notification manager with which you can enable the do not disturb mode, hide the indicator, or also exclude some applications notification and control them if you want. In addition to what I've mentioned here in this video, you will still find a lot of things improved in Ubuntu Mate 20.04. Be it the subtle improvements in the icons or the presence of Linux kernel 5.4. So I've also linked down my written review on its force in the video description below. Also, I'll be curious to know about your thoughts on Ubuntu Mate 20.04. And finally, thanks to Upcloud for partnering with us for this video. They provide world's fastest cloud servers. Check out the video description for their links. Hope you found this video useful. If you haven't already, do subscribe to It's Force and please hit the like button if you like this video.